Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over variables and typing. So basically, a variable is a letter or series of characters that stand for a different value. That's just my made up definition without looking in dictionary, okay? Classically in math, we say A equals one. So we know that A is the variable and one is the value, right? And this could be any value, one, two, 12, whatever it is. Now, in the Dart language, you cannot just have a variable, okay? Because the computer will say A equals 1. Well, what is this A? What's going on with that? Is that, well, I, I don't recognize what that is. So you have to do something called declare a variable. So declaring a variable simply means make it known that it's a variable. So you have to tell the computer, hey, we got a variable here. And we use the keyword var. And let's just say var A. So it says, a is the variable. Now, once the computer knows what the variable is, you can assign a value. And let's just say, let's assign the value of one. And by, um, when you assign a first value, it's called initializing. So you may read here and there about people saying you initialize a variable. It gives it the initial, the first value itself. All right, so variable A equals one. Now, can you do this all at the same step? Yes, you can declare and initialize all at the same time. And there's gonna be times where you wanna do it in step, separate steps and sometimes you wanna do it all at the same time. For right now, we can always do it at the same exact time. So let's put that right here and run it. It gives us the value of one. Now, variable, you could put it inside of the, par of the parentheses, but you cannot, you should not use quotation marks. By the way, you can use double quotations or single quotations. Makes no difference as long as you're consistent. So if you start with single quotations, you have to end with single. If you start with double, you have to start with end with double. Okay. What happens right here? If you run it, it'll be A, right? Because now these are words. This is text inside of here. And that's not what we actually want. We actually want the value of the variable substitute the value right here. And when we have a set value, variable A equals one, this is what we call a literal. It's an actual number. And that's important not to really remember that definition, but it's just that in the future, this will not always be a set exact number. And we'll just keep that in mind, all right? So what can A actually equal? Well, it can equal a number of things. It can mean almost any variable. It could mean decimal point. It could be text. It could be numbers of any sorts. Right? We're pretty good. What if it has no value? We just declare it, but we don't give it a value. Any variable that you declare that doesn't have a value, that you don't initialize, will have the value of null. And no matter what the variable is, null is the default. It's the, if you don't do anything else, but once you initialize it, then it will always have the value of that initial, that first value itself. All right? Now, few more things. Um, let's go over one more thing. So this is called dynamic typing when we use the keyword right in front of here, var. The variable can have different types. So variable, let's just say a equals one, then a equals hello, and then a equals, let's just say true. We will go over these in the next video. What is the value of A? Here it's null, here it's one, here it's hello, and here it's true. What's it gonna print? The very last one, right? That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? True. This is what we call dynamic typing. A variable can have a number, an integer. It's a, it can also have a floating point, right? A equals 2.3. 
still going to be true. This is called, and we will go over this next video, so don't worry. This is called a string. It's text. Let's comment this out. It's the text, right? Kind of like we did with the A and the hello world. And here, this is called a bool, B-O-O-L. Again, don't worry, we'll go over that in the next video. That's what dynamic typing actually means. It's that this variable can mean anything along here. However, let's talk about, I mentioned before, Dart is a strong typed language. What does that mean? Strong typing simply means a value will not change types. Okay, so this is a number, right? This is an integer, I should say. It's a whole number. This is a decimal, and this text, just like we said. With strong typing, the one will always be a number. Okay, right, good, good. Um, this will always be text, and this will always be bool. You're probably thinking, whoa, what, what, what the heck? This as opposed to a weak typing. I'll give you an example. Maybe I'll make it clear. Uh, um, type can change depending upon circumstances. All right, so let's back up here a little bit. Var a, a equals, I'm not going to say one. I'm going to say the text one, okay? So let's just say that. Let's just say var b equals two. Let's clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit easier to read. So a equals the text number one. B equals the number one. It's not text, right? And let's just say var C equals hello. Now, what happens when you say A plus plus, where's the plus? B plus C. In Dart, this is not going to actually work out. At least I hope not. Let's see here. Okay, it does give us an error itself. Why not? Well, you cannot add text with a number with a text, right? You can add numbers, and you can even add texts together. So let's just say, for example, what if you add one text with another text? You're going to put them together, right? A plus C. What does that equal? It's one hello. So that's what we call concatenate. It will do a con, con uh oh, typing trouble. Concatenate is putting together two. I'm just going to say words for right now. It's basically pu putting together two types of values. They're mostly words, one after the other. Okay, so that's what concatenate is for text. But how do you add the two to it? So Dart will give you an error with because it, because it's strongly typed. In a weakly typed, you say A plus B. Again, Dart will give you an error. What will other languages do? You can do two things. You can either change the two to a text. So the computer will automatically, without you telling it to, change this to text. And what will be the value there? 12, right? Because that's not text. That's the number one text. No, that is text. Excuse me. It's not a number. Number one text and the number two is text. So it'll be one, two. That's what it could do. Other languages might actually say, oh, wait a minute. If you're going to put these two together, I'm going to convert this one into a number and then run it. It's three. So notice Strong typing, Dart will not change the values right here, the, the typing of the values. It will not change types. Other languages might. 
it can change the type depending on the circumstance. So even though now it's text, the computer might automatically change it and say, oh, nope, not anymore. Now it's a number. Okay. And that's to keep in mind because sometimes as time goes by, when you go from Dart, if you go from Dart, to another language that has weak typing, you might notice some strange behavior. Hey, that was not expected. And that's something that's important to know. So that's why I wanted to throw that out there too. Okay. So that's it for this video. That's dynamic typing, strong and weak typing, and variables themselves. Let's go into the next video where we talk about static typing. Thank you.